It's 34 on this Monday morning. We are entering day 31 of the longest government shutdown in history, and small business owners are now starting to feel the pinch. Action 7 News reporter Sally Kidd has the details from our exclusive Washington Bureau. 100% of our work is federal work. The Alexandria, Virginia offices of this federal contractor are nearly empty. Lynn Petrozulo had to lay off 17 of her 20 employees. We have received stop work orders on everything other than one contract. The shutdown is hitting hard for some contractors and companies that do business with the federal government. There are all kinds of ripple effects through our economy and all those companies that aren't taking advantage of an opportunity to grow because they can't get a loan, that uh, aren't paying their employees because their contract is essentially frozen right now. The Trump administration estimates the shutdown will reduce economic growth by about one tenth of a percentage point every week it drags on. The clearest direct link is the consumer spending angle. With no paychecks coming in, furloughed workers are beginning to pull back on spending. Federal government employees stops going to their local restaurant, so all of a sudden the restaurant has fewer revenues. Maybe they cut back hours on their workers. You get those ripple effects. Back in Alexandria, Lynn Petrozulo is thinking up ways to help laid off staff. I can do advances. Um, I'm considering putting our Christmas bonus for next year out next week. She says contractors will feel the pinch even after the shutdown ends. We never get back pay. In Washington, I'm Sally Kidd.